So, if you're subscribed to my channel, you know I've been interested in setting up a LoRaWAN gateway at my local hackerspace to support community experiments and remote environmental monitoring. In support of that goal, this is a Raspberry Pi coupled with a rack concentrator which I've donated to ZeroCraft to support future experiments. And here's the gateway, hanging in ZeroCraft's new radio room. Up to this point it was served by a small antenna inside the building and thus not really useful for outdoor experiments. Well, I'm happy to report that thanks to the generous support of ZeroCraft volunteer Jeremy Brittle, that gateway is now served by an elevated rack 5.8 dBi antenna mounted on the roof of our space. And here's a close-up of the antenna on ZeroCraft's roof, elevated on a mount designed and constructed by Jeremy. And here you can see our LMR 400 coax cable coming through the roof into the radio room. The extra length resulted from using spare cable with the appropriate terminators to make all our connections work, but I've ordered some proper terminators to help us shorten this length once that hardware arrives. Based on the power output of the concentrator coupled with the length of LMR400 cable and gain from the antenna, I calculate the power output of this gateway to be approximately 900 milliwatts. When coupled with its outdoor placement, this should provide some nice coverage for downtown Tucson, Arizona. The gateway is registered on the Things stack and thus compliant with the latest configuration requirements for the Things network prior to the December 2021 deadline. And here's the output on the Things stack gateway console showing that the gateway is in fact communicating properly with TTN servers. When the COVID situation clears up a bit, we look forward to hosting some workshops at ZeroCraft to demonstrate how we might take advantage of this new gateway. Again, a huge thanks to Jeremy Brittle for all the time that was donated in helping me get this gateway up and running. More content is in development, so subscribe for updates, and I'll see you soon.